Today is World Down Syndrome Day. We have some very special guests in the studio here with us. It's really a time to come together to celebrate Down Syndrome and raise awareness. And you can join in on the fun this weekend right here in Knoxville. We're going to tell you all about the annual race and walk coming up. Here to share more about that are actually Angie Holbert with uh, the Down Syndrome Awareness Group of East Tennessee. We also have Ed and Diana Warner and really the star of the show is Lion. Two year old Lion here. Guys, tell us a little bit about Lion. What's he into? I mean, a little bit of everything you've said. Yeah. <laughs> he's really into singing. Okay. And a lot of Miss Rachel. Oh yes. Ms. And Rachel. he spends a lot of time at the little gym working on his um, gymnastics. Yes. And Lion will be there this weekend on Sunday, of yeah. course, partaking yep. in the big race. Angie, first of all, tell us about the Down Syndrome Awareness Group. What do you all do? What kind of resources do you provide to people in our community? Um, we serve Knox County and 17 surrounding counties. So we're the East Tennessee side of things. There's mm -hmm. other chapters in, you know, throughout the state. Mm -hmm. um, and we provide families with information either with a prenatal diagnosis or it could be after birth. Um, there's, we have people who have, ado have adopted children with Down syndrome and we provide resources for them. Um, I work with area hospitals and genetics offices to make sure that they've got accurate up-to-date information yeah. about well, the diagnosis. La, la, That's great. La, la. And so the race and walk that Lion is getting ready to participate in <laughs> this weekend helps with that. Um, yes. How can people participate in this? Yeah. Um, the race is this Sunday. Um, you can just look up race 321 on um, it's under run sign up and you can sign up that way um, we uh, the finisher prize is our crazy socks look at these so they're, they're awesome super fun. we'll show you them yes. in just a second yeah, yes. here <laughs> um, but yes we that and that's the whole thing with world down syndrome day mm -hmm. is you wear mismatched socks because mm -hmm. they're they're both socks, but they might look a little bit yeah. different, but they serve the same purpose. Yes, so. we want to take a look at the socks. There yes, they they're go. so fun. There yes. they are. And that's the finisher prize. So oh. if you, and they, they're they different colors. So you get, there's like purple and orange and red and green. So like they come that. in different mismatched as a set. Yes. So. yes. so Ed and Diana, tell us a little bit about how this group has been able to help you all with your journey and taking care of Lion. I'll let you go. <laughs> well, this was all new to us. We had a maybe diagnosis when we were pregnant. And then when Lion was born, he was diagnosed. And it's just been really helpful to have Angie in our life and the other parents give us advice or tips on how to help Lion have the most fun and, you know, develop the best. Um, it's been a really, really good for us as far as support. Yeah, and yeah. like you mentioned, it's a good way to connect with yeah. other parents right. as well. And he may not be, you know, on, on the same schedule as children his age, so it also gives us somebody that he can be with who might also not be on that same yeah. schedule just so it doesn't get kind of left out. Yeah. So how does the race this Sunday help you all with helping families like of course Lions family? Funding which is huge. We do recreational scholarships throughout the year so any of our individuals with Down syndrome that apply for a recreational scholarship it can be for therapy, camp, all types of different things. We mm -hmm. do those for families throughout the year. Mm -hmm. um, it also helps with Down Comfort gifts is, which are welcome gifts that um, are supplied. Um, we have all types of programming throughout the year. We're going to the uh, zoo in May, and so DSAG Comfort is a big part of that. Um, just different things throughout the year. We usually have something about once a month, some type of activity, yeah. which I kind of say it's like small group at church. Uh -huh. Like, you know, we have this big group of families, but then, you know, those smaller families kind of meet each other and sure. have the same interest, you know, yeah. when they get together. Yeah. So that's kind of, you know, it's just like a big family. That's awesome. And, you know, anyone can participate, of course, in the race yes. and the walk this Sunday, and you can still sign up. You can sign up up until Sunday morning, right? Absolutely. And we want the community to be involved. Mm -hmm. That's the thing with the event. It's an awareness event. It's not just about funding. It's about people who wouldn't typically be involved with DSAG. Yeah. Um, our buddy walk every year is for our families. I mean, we have other people in the community come, but it's a family event more so. But the race is really getting people outside of, you, you know, that wouldn't typically be involved with DSAG. That's so, great. Yeah. All right, Angie, Ed, Diana, thank you so much for being here. Lion, of course, thank you as well. Do you want to say a little goodbye to our audience here? Bye. Say bye. bye. See you this Sunday. All right, we're going to go ahead and take a short break and we'll be right back.